Hello friends. Firstly, you want to go to Microsoft Store on your PC and download this app iCloud, which is iCloud for Windows 10. You can download this software from Apple's official website also. Please check out description for all download links. Now click on this get button and hit install. So it will take time to download and install based on your internet speed. Now it is installed. Let's launch it. Now you want to sign in with your Apple ID and password. Hit sign in. Now you want to enter the two-factor authentication code received on your trusted device. Now it is asking if you want to send diagnostic and usage information about this software to Apple. It's your choice. I'm gonna hit don't send. You can change this later on from settings. Now here is your iCloud for Windows 10 software interface. It's a software designed by Apple for Windows users for accessing iCloud Drive, iCloud Photos, Bookmarks, Mails, iCloud Storage on your computer without even launching the iCloud website on your computer browser. So let's see what options you have. Firstly, as you can see, if you want to access mail, contacts, calendar and reminders, you need to visit iCloud.com. You cannot access this information from this software. This thing will vary with Windows version. You might be able to access this information if you have latest Windows version. Mine is little old. So let me dismiss this warning. So the first option you have is this iCloud Drive. The checkbox next to it is marked. It means it is enabled on this computer. The second option you have is iCloud Photos. Very important option. So if you have enabled iCloud Photos option on your iPhone or iPad, you can see all the photos and videos from your iPhone and iPad on this Windows computer. Similarly, you can upload photos and videos from your Windows computer and see them on your iPhone and iPad. I'll show you that later in the video. Make sure you have this checkbox marked. Another option is shared albums. So basically there is this iCloud feature where you can create shared albums and share it with your friends and loved ones and they will also contribute to this shared album. So you can keep this option on. Now the third option is bookmarks. So if you have bookmarks on your iPhone or iPad, you can sync them with your Windows PC. And keep in mind whenever you make changes in any of the settings here, you want to click on apply button. Now there is one more very important option here, storage. It will show you all your iPhone and iPad data in iCloud. And if you want, you can remove this data right from this software. Remember that if you are removing any data from the software, it will delete that data from your iPhone and iPad as well. So make sure you know what you're doing with your data. If you want to upgrade or downgrade your iCloud storage, you can do that as well. This section will be very helpful to you if you're facing issues while upgrading or downgrading iCloud storage on your iPhone. Now there is one more section here called account details. This will show your diagnostic settings and have link to manage your Apple ID. Now let's see the real stuff. Firstly, to access your iCloud drive, you want to go to your system tray on the bottom right corner and click on this iCloud icon. Now here select open iCloud drive. This will launch a new folder with iCloud drive content. So whatever you have on your iPhone is now reflected here, including the files and folders. As you can see, we have similar folders on our iPhone and same set of folders on computer. Even if you open any folder, you'll see that the file inside that folder is also copied to your PC. So this is the folder where you can access your iCloud drive. This is the exact replica of files and folders on your iCloud drive. If you want, you can create a new folder here and you can see that on your iPhone and iPad. So it will be very easy for you to transfer data from PC to iPhone or iPhone to PC using this iCloud drive. Very helpful. Now let me show you the second folder, which is very important. This iCloud photos. So here it will show all the photos from your iPhone or iPad if you have iCloud photos turned on on your device. New photos and videos will download automatically. You can also choose to download your entire collection by year. If I show you the iPhone, 
these are the exact photos and videos on iPhone. So every time you add photo to your iPhone or iPad that would be available on your PC right away. On the other hand, if you want to add photos from your computer to iPhone, you can do that as well. Go to system tray, tap on iCloud icon and select upload photos. This will open up a browser window, select photos and videos from your computer and add to this iCloud photos folder. This will upload all the new photos and videos from your computer to iCloud drive and then you can see them on your iPhone and iPad. So it is easy to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to computer or computer to iPhone. Now last but not the least, when you close this iCloud for Windows 10 software and if you want to reopen it, go back to the system tray, select iCloud icon and click on open iCloud settings. That's all, your iCloud settings are back. So I hope you guys understood everything about this iCloud for Windows 10 software. Still, if you have any questions, ask me down in the comments below and I would be happy to help. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.